Oh, wait. Mm. Word around, word around, word around town. I heard this boy was a clown. Swim in your watch I drown. I Call him up there for the pounds. Oh, wait. Our future years yeah, right on my clown. As you guys could see, the engine, it's all dirty, all filthy, and everything. So I need to go for some degreaser, clean it up. I still need to take off this part here. This is, this ain't, this, the old owner added this system. So this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to put all the original system on it. I still need to take off that, but I'm gonna wait till I um, clean it. So this is what the engine looks like after I cleaned it. I put these towels so nothing, no debris or anything falls inside the oil holes or anything or any dust or anything falls in there. But I mean, it used to be worse. There used to be more dirt and sticky oil. I mean, there's still some, but once I get back on um, putting it back together, before I put it back on together, I'm going to give it another touch up, clean uh, and then once it's all back together, I'm going to take it and get it power washed. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I just got back from Lake Elsinore Ford. I had to go pick up this fitting that I needed for that side. I already have that one right there. They had that one in stock, so I installed it just yesterday. I didn't record it because it was a pain in the ass and I was already frustrated. And then I had to go pick up... Um, these two bolts that I need for my fuel bowl that go right there goes one there goes the other one and then those bolts are for my um valley pump okay so right now what I'm gonna do I have to install this last fitting back in here just so I could ha get everything on which is my valley pump and my fuel bowl once I have that in I could um install the turbo and reconnect all the lines for it have these connected and then um yeah i'll do the time lapse put the camera set it up and yeah